3rd of October 2022 Monday Just walking through the swamp Gonna burn some stuff And then so I'm in a little bit Maybe a little training session as well But uh, yeah we'll see Tent still there, it's just moved a little bit and there is a new, or at least was, a new hut still uh, near the fire pit probably about two weeks ago now or first sorry about three weeks ago so yeah this is probably well this could be my last ever time well in this universe uh, coming here um, yeah, and that's because uh, on uh, next Monday, 10th of October, 2022, duh, um, going to Ukraine, yep, so as far as I know, being accepted into Foreign Legion, um, when asked for evidence of previous military service, I took a picture of my uh, three-star cadet certificate, my bra side and my rank slide, sent it in, they accepted it, and yeah, um, already sent in my uh, um, ev uh, script, uh, photos of travel documents and uh, tickets, so that they know when and where I'm arriving and that. Then just go and email with detailed PowerPoint of the meeting points at the border and that. Um, yeah, so first I thought I could just go into Kiev and then go into a recruitment office and then go from there. But then, well, then I got then I got back to me saying that I uh, need to come to a specific point at the Ukrainian border, at the ukraine poland border. Um, so yeah, at free book. Got a £40 refund on the bus. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, so since um, in Cadets has been basically like infantry reconnaissance kind of training, that's what I'll be going with. Um, hopefully, but that's yet to be assigned. Um, given that nothing gets so to say cancelled or well yeah cancelled that's uh once once the contract signed the worst thing that could happen is i get assigned into some peaceful area so to say something like say the border force um be one of those sad sods sitting at the border stamping passports checking lorries and that that would be the worst that happens or I'll be able to be one of those sad sods getting my $630 a month which is about two and a half times Ukrainian minimum wage but here it would be just enough to cover bills <laughs> yeah um, well then the not worst would be uh, sent someone to the front line and uh, if I die, I don't care, I'm dead. And if I don't, then, uh, well, given it lasts another few months at least, I should have a few ten, uh, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars in bonus pay for danger, so to say. Um, so that will be okay. And, uh, well, if I'm sent to the front and then, you know, get shot, blown up, but not die, then I still, I believe, a few, well, uh, it's, I believe it's $10,000 bonus for injury, plus the few thousand for being in the danger zone, so to say. So, yeah, even if I'm taken out on the first day, still got that. <laughs> yeah. So that's that. <laughs> yeah, get wise, you'll be. I got a 
pretty much everything I had in cadets but in black because I was more prepared for it to be more urban rather than field but black in field is also good um, yeah so got everything except uh, body armor and helmet and uh, firearm but other than that yeah field kit gas mask air defenders gloves got that anything that's not black it will be my um, Bergen that is DPM wanted to take the olive green but that's a bit too ripped so go with DPM um, and yeah also a set of CV, uh, civilian kit including well ho or hopefully if there's room uh, like a school bag just so I have a bag that's not a bergen yeah um, was it spontaneous somewhat and kind of not um, since like sort of mid-may I've been uh, getting on to oh, fuck. yeah I've been getting on to a mission to Russia for something I'm not gonna say what because uh, it just in case it still goes on well it still happens what the fuck someone's been here because that that saw cut isn't me <laughs> yep and definitely wasn't the bird but yeah yeah so then uh, sort of around early August so to say um, it got cancelled as far as I know it might have been delayed but cancelled for me at least um, yeah then uh, uh, yeah just so I apply for the what well, I go to Ukrainian embassy and uh, ask for guidance and joining the foreign legion then yeah that got in um, as I was doing it going off to the home office again for another one month contract um, fully remote just uh, uh, processing Ukrainian visa um, refugee applications and that uh, well not so much processing but uh, keeping an eye on them as well as keeping track and updating all the ones that are already here um, so yeah from that, that that would have been in September um, then so I told the um, you, uh, the, fuck's sake, the embassy yeah that uh, I'll be coming in the like early of October because I got this month contract um, yeah and then about the first week of September since well I've been told I, I kept being delayed saying that it'll be start start later start later but then it just cancelled because there was apparently a fault in the system that means it can't do the job and by the time it's fixed it'll be the end of September and uh, apparently that means they don't need it anymore so yeah if I had that, that would have been five days a week, 175 pounds per day. So that would have been an okay, about 2.47, um, two, yeah, 2.4 thousand pounds for the month after tax, if I remember that correctly. But uh, yeah, that didn't happen. Um, but then yeah, instead of you know. Ask, asking to come sooner basically I thought I'd use it to buff up a little bit because um, a few weeks ago I climbed the two meter fence because I came to what I thought was a uh, three road but then it wasn't um, so there was a fence there I climbed and just after well as I was climbing it um, my legs were just weak as fuck um, yeah then uh, I, I mo mostly had to use my arms for that and then about for about a day after that it was like it, it, my legs were feeling like after an intense workout uh, so I thought that's a bit poor so um, yeah did some squats and uh, so to say marathon walks because apparently my legs were perfectly fine when I was walking to school and university and since office work, well, no. So, did some of those. Um, yeah. 
so that's that um <coughs> Yeah, in terms of that, uh, uh, well, the, the, the deployment, then that will be, um, well, the accommodation and a lot of food should be provided. Um, I'm guessing a mixture of tent barracks as well as um, when you get somewhere, an, an empty building, throw a bunk bed in there and then you've got a place, that kind of thing. <coughs> and then, yeah. And also for um, the normal pay, regardless of where you are, if you're a member of Foreign Legion, is $630 per month. At least that's what I was told by, I don't know, if, if it's gone up or not. I've seen one out of it for 1200 um, $1, something like that. But then that might be some kind of specialist role. But yeah. That's me, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to make some kind of like videos or months ago, some kind of videos up here saying that yeah, I'm going on this mission, blah, 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 and then set it on the premiere date sometime in the future. Um, but I uh, didn't since that's cancelled. And uh, basically that would in involve me getting a Russian residency passport and a uh, bank account with about a thousand dollars in rubles but uh, yeah i might say what it is in the future if i'm alive and um there's no longer need to keep it quiet because either someone else has done it or uh, there's no longer a need to do it yeah I don't know why, but that just look, does not look like some... It is the way I tied it, but it just looks too angled. And also, yeah, the entrance to it was a bit trotted on, but that can just be assumed to have been a deer. However, there's dog shit. Um, yeah, and for some reason they have... They've just cut a little bit in there. The, the, the flint, the, yeah, the flint's gone. That I've stashed into a few of these holes. That's been the log's been moved slightly. This seat is still fine as it is. Uh, you see the nails in there are still good. So pff, I don't know what could have happened here. Um. The flints are not here. So I'm guessing they're not taken. But oh uh, well, so yeah, um I just do some yeah squats uh squats weight the weights lifting up here and then a bit of jogging maybe. And then uh got some yeah some stuff to burn and then film the if it's still there that track. So yeah, so it's about 25, maybe 30 minutes later, and uh, I'll just show this shack first, because it's a little more out the way. Um, someone has been here since I checked it out two weeks ago, because these chairs were inside, but now they've gone here and uh, burned some stuff. looks like a Bible is it it says Lord on it call on the fire nope that's some thing else I just know it was a Bible because it said Lord um, but yeah not exactly waterproof but maybe it was on the first few days but yeah I mounted the fire pit <coughs> and burn that stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, in terms of telling people where I'm going, I uh, haven't done that. I sort of 
said without saying the whole truth. Um, so, so they've got a temporary job uh, at the border. Um, yeah, expenses provided, 630 a month. No expenses and um, accommodation and, uh, well, yeah. E everything's provided plus salary, basically. So 630 a month. I'm guessing everyone just assumed it'd be pounds. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that. Gonna burn some stuff here and then leave it. <laughs> and when I leave, that sign is still up there about 10 years later now. So that's good. Although only just another few years and that other rope will snap and it will snap more and snap more and then it will fall. Yeah. right up but uh, that's me by the way um, yeah yeah so no minus why as well I mean, like I said made uh, just a lot aware of the border job so we'll be away for a few months but uh, well, I guess if I'm not back, you know, like ever, then it's not exactly like I'm doing much for them. All I'm doing is liasing, and that can be done by any of them. So that's, yeah. <laughs> the only thing I have that they don't have and can't get without asking someone else for it is the Normanus bank details. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to pay membership. Everything else is either posted on the Vox or it's something that needs to be asked somewhere above. So, yeah. Well, that's thing away that. Um, yeah, film when it's either burning or set up ready to burn. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'll be burning. Bunch of these, one kilo pack, then an M wrappers, then a bunch of these with the receipts and smaller packets in them, and some toilet rolls, and then oh yeah, boxes. Of the stuff have been delivered in. There's nothing really to set up. Just manually burn the addresses and names off and barcodes, and then I guess light one of the receipts. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, the addresses are all like burnt off. Um, one letter was a bit too flammable, so I just let it burn. But now, yeah. Um, So I could just do it all in one go, but yeah. Let's do it bit by bit. This one is something I dumped on top last time. Oh. <coughs> that 
that went off. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't expecting it to, given that it almost died, and then I tipped it upside down, and yet it did. Stick that hand warmers and invoice on there, which arrived today because my current hand warmers that I got a few years ago, it turns out there was an expiry date on them and they expired about a year ago. Do you explain why last year at Colchester the 10 hours lasted about five? Um, yeah. These are new ones, I only got, I, th I think 20, two packs of 10 I believe, but there's two packs of something. That's going the other way, yeah. <laughs> nah, the other way, because that... <laughs> yeah, then that'll be okay-ish for the winter. If needed, that is. Because why not? Stick that log on there. Yeah, um... Uh, also, yeah, I'm gonna take a few empty wrappers. Oh, is there small, small wrappers of M&Ms with me uh, for for these for this purpose for these reasons? But obviously not as a batch, but instead as a rip off a strip and uh, stick it under some wood. That'll get fire going easily if needed. I mean, unlikely, but just in case. <coughs> Water-wise. I mean, they must get by somehow, I don't know. <laughs> but obviously I'll take some purification tablets with me, but with state of natural water in Ukraine is a bit, probably worse than what I got water poisoning in, U in Cumbria, or maybe it was Yorkshire, it was Yorkshire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> going into Cumbria. So the only thing those tablets would be good for is if something like rainwater is collected in the tarp something or some kind of collector but other than that well i guess i'll i'll just stick on the supplies just rely on supplies like others do because why not yeah stick that in there stick that in there might as well stick these in there it's not like anyone's gonna use them <laughs> yeah I'm gonna bring some firecrackers with me just in case because they do sound like pistol shots and uh, might be good deterrence something like that the deterrence or maybe some kind of trap set with matches Someone trips the match lights, ignites the fuse, firecracker goes bang, alarm system goes off. Yeah, the thing to be careful of is obviously the way I tra tra transport them because the ones I had in my pouch for a few months, they became somewhat unexplosive. Use all the uh, squashing, rubbing, shaking that they've been through. There's a few in here somewhere that have been unexploded that I lit through. The fuse works, but then it goes tss, rather than bang. Um, okay, well that's that. Um, yeah, so this video will be uploaded most likely after I've um, joined in 
if there's signal. If there's not, well, if, if there's no signal that I could post off and just watching this, then either you stole my phone, in which case, fuck you, or um, someone's took my phone and uploaded it to my YouTube. Well, I guess thanks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Originally it would have been going Saturday, but because of the bus change going to the border instead of Kiev, it'll be a Monday instead now, so two days later. And yeah. Well, anyway, that's me by the way. Oh, you wear a silver one. So yeah. <laughs>